The Islamic Republic of Iran reserved its inherent right to self-defense in accordance with international law to respond decisively to this terrorist and criminal act when it deems necessary and appropriate. I now give the floor to the representative of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Thank you. In the name of God, the compassionate and merciful, Mr. President, at the outset, I would like to extend my... Islamic Republic of Iran. I resume my function as President of the Council. I now give the floor to the representative of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Thank you. In the name of God, the compassionate and merciful, Mr. President, at the outset, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to the Russian Federation for convening this emergency meeting. I also extend my gratitude to China and Algeria for requesting this meeting, as well as those members that supported convening of this meeting. We also thank Ms. DiCarlo for her briefing. Mr. President, distinguished member of the Council, we request this urgent meeting and attend the Council today to address a matter of the grave importance and urgency, one that threatens international peace and security and challenges the very principle upon which this esteemed body was founded. As we address in our letter today to your Mr. President, the cowardly assassination of Mr. Ismail Haniyeh, the political chief of the Palestinian Islamic resistance movement Hamas, and the great leader of the Palestinian people, legitimate a struggle for self-determination as the result of an aggressive act of terrorism by Zionist occupying regime of Israel. Mr. Haniyeh, who was in Tehran upon an official invitation of the government of the Islamic Republic of Iran to attend the inauguration ceremony of the new president of the Islamic Republic of Iran with the presence of leaders of many foreign countries was targeted alongside his companion in his residence in Tehran today at around 2 a.m. local time. This act of terror is just another manifestation of Israelis decaying long patterns of terrorism and sabotage targeting Palestinians and other supporters and sympathizers of the Palestinian cause across the region and beyond. In addition to its terrorist objective, Israel was also pursuing political goal with this act, aiming to disrupt the first day of the new government of the Islamic Republic of Iran, which has prioritized strengthening peace and stability in the region and enhancing cooperation and constructive engagement with international community. The Islamic Republic of Iran condemn in the strongest possible terms this horrible terrorist act as a most serious violation of international law and the charter of the United Nations as well as a grave breach of Iran's sovereignty and national security. This aggressive act of terrorism, as provocative as it is, constitutes a serious breach of peace and security and requires immediate and effective action by the UN Security Council in the discharge of its responsibility under the Charter. This crime is not isolated but part of a broader pattern of aggressive actions and policies by Israeli regime against other nations in the region. Just hour before this heinous crime, this regime carried out covertly terrorist attack in the southern suburbs of Beirut, Lebanon, targeting civilians and civilian infrastructures. The war mongering Leaders of this rough regime have shown complete disregard for the basic norms and principles of international law. Their crimes reveal a lack of commitment to peace and stability in the region and suggest an intention to escalate conflict and expand the war through the entire region. The responsibility of the United States as a strategic ally and main supporters of the Israeli regime in the region cannot be overlooked in this horrific crime. 
This act could not be occurred without the authorization and intelligence support of the U.S. The continuation of Israel's aggression threatened peace and stability in the region. The international community, particularly the United Nations Security Council, cannot remain indifferent to such heinous crimes and must take decisive action to address this violation and hold the perpetrators accountable. Mr. President, persistent and systematic attack on Palestinian civilians in Gaza, characterized by disappropriation, use of the force and discriminate targeting have resulted in tragic loss of life, widespread destruction and depending humanitarian and depending, depending humanitarian crisis. This action, which frequently targets civilian infrastructure, residential area and medical facilities, not only violate international humanitarian law, but also constitute war crimes under the Geneva Conventions. Unfortunately, the inaction and inability of the Security Council have emboldened this occurrence regime, allowing it to continue committing war crimes against the oppressed people of Palestine and acts of aggression against other nations of the region. The Islamic Republic of Iran has repeatedly warned of the serious repercussions that the malicious activities of Israeli occupying regime pose to regional and international peace and security. Despite these provocations, Iran has consistently exercised maximum restraint. Following the Israeli regime covertly terrorist and armed attack on our diplomatic premises on Damascus, Syria on 1st April, we promptly notified the UN Security Council and Secretary General of the Israeli International Wrongful Act and called on the Security Council to denounce this unjustified criminal and terrorist act decisively and to take appropriate measures to prevent the recurrence of such crimes and aggressions. Regrettably, the Security Council has failed in this in its duty to maintain international peace and security. And a draft press statement proposed by Russia in condemning the Israeli atrocious act was blocked by the United States, United Kingdom, and France. Yet, it is now imperative that the occupying regime be held fully accountable for its atrocities. This regime must not be allowed to evade responsibilities for its violation and consequences that follow. Mr. President, distinguished member of the Council, for nearly 10 months, certain countries, particularly the United States, have shielded Israel from any responsibilities for the massacre in Gaza and malicious activities in the region. These countries have not only denied the inherent right of Palestinian resistance group to self-defense against Israeli atrocities, but have also shamelessly justified the Israeli massacre and genocide against defenseless Palestinian people under the pretext of self-defense for Israel. The U.S. and its allies have made cynical attempts to justify and cover up the atrocities committed by the Israeli regime against the people of Palestine through arbitrary and misleading interpretation of the concept of self-defense. Regrettably, the United States has once again chosen to turn a blind eye to reality and overlook the root causes of the current situation. Palestinian resistance group like Hamas and other resistance group in the region are not terrorists. They are legitimate group under international law and were established to fight against occupation and aggression. Mr. President, the Secretary, the Security Council must unequivocally condemn Israel for its horrible terrorist act as a most serious violation of international law and the charter of the United Nations as well as a grave breach of Iran's sovereignty and national security. This condemnation should be strong and clear. 
and reflect the international community's rejection of such violation of sovereignty and territorial integrity. Furthermore, the Security Council should take immediate steps to hold Israel accountable for this act of aggression. This includes considering the imposition of sanctions and other measures that are necessary to prevent further violation and to signal that the Israeli malevolent activities will not be tolerated by the international community. The Council must also demand that the Israeli immediately cease all aggressive actions against the Palestinian territories and other nations in the region. This demand should be accompanied by the call for ending the occupation of the Palestine territories, the territory of Lebanon and the Syrian occupied Golan, in accordance with the international law and the principles of the United Nations. And finally, the Islamic Republic of Iran reserves its inherent right to self-defense in accordance with international law to respond decisively to this terrorist and criminal act when it deems necessary and appropriate. The Islamic Republic of Iran reaffirms its commitment to upholding international law and the purposes and principles of the United Nations Charter. We believe that peace and stability in the region can only be achieved through respect for these principles. I thank you.